Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. We are getting way, way more rain than we should be getting. I think it's rained somewhere in the neighborhood of six inches in the past two days here on the farm, and we've got a couple situations I'm gonna take you around and show you. It's really, really bad. I mean, just look at the outside run for the chickens right here. We've got way too much rain. So come along today, we're gonna to go over here on the other side of the farm and show you what's going on. All the new grass that we planted, all the new land, it's just made a huge mess right now. So we're just gonna to have to go back in and make up for it. And I think our pond is overflowing. We gotta get out in the pond right now and take care of that situation. Let's go have some fun. Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. So folks, it's just a mess out here. This is right in front of the house. You can see the house up on the top of the hill there. And it's just a river flowing down through here. It's as if the water is coming from somewhere else. We keep getting what they call these pop-up showers. And man, that, I mean, that's like eight or 10 inches deep right there. It's just flowing just right through the yard like a river. So here's the dirt road that we live on. And earlier, the ditches were so full of water that it actually overflowed the road. Big, big mess. You can see the amount we've got here and the dogs just want to get it. Water, go ahead, get that water. <laughs> get that water. My dogs love the water. <laughs> Little stinkers. So this is not normal. This is not the average storm around here. This is not normal at all. I'm surprised the weather stations don't have a little bit more up about what's going on, but this is not normal. Check it out. It's not normal for our road to be washed out like this and for all this water to be coming down through here. So we've got to go over here. I can see that the pond is either overflowing or like this far from overflowing. This morning about seven o'clock I came out, it was overflowing and there's just a lot of water moving here. All right, here's our pond, and it's just slam full. Let's go over here to the spillway. The dogs don't mind it. So recently we reworked the pond a little bit, and we have a standpipe right here that was the original standpipe built in 1961, and we have a standpipe that's over here, which is our new standpipe, which is about ah, four inches bigger. I think it's an eight inch or 10 inch standpipe. It is clogged. So where they did all the timber cutting out on the farm here, it's clogged the pipe where the sticks and stuff kind of fell off the trees into the pond. And you can see my pipe is just clogged here. I'll get you a close up. So right there is where the stand pipe is and there's sticks and stuff and grass that's dropped off in there. And you can see it's overflowing pretty significantly. Large amount of water coming through. This is a larger amount of water than either one of these pipes would be able to handle in the first place. We're gonna go down here and look at the pipe and see if the pipe, how much water it's spitting out. Now you can see all these rocks we put in place. We cleaned all these rocks off the land and that's what's helping to preserve our dam to hold it in place, but it's starting to wash a little bit. I'm really concerned about this. I don't want my pond to wash away. We put a lot of time, effort, and money into this thing and we don't wanna see it wash away. So let's go down here and take a look at the pipe. Right there's our stand pipe and you can see the amount of water that's coming out of it. It is at capacity. So there's really nothing that I could do here aside from putting a larger stand pipe in or decreasing the level of the water in the pond in case of flood like this. But I don't think there's anything that's gonna change the disaster that's going on right here right now. Just a mess. Thank goodness we put these rocks in place. So let me give you some history here. When we bought this property, this pond was grown up all around it. You couldn't get to the pond. You couldn't walk across this dam. We had it cleaned up a little bit. We also had the dam built up a little bit here. We dug out in this area. There was a spillway right here. We dug it out. We laid a new pipe in right here and we fixed the spillway, but we reinforced it with rock when we started cleaning up our land and that's really helped save the dam. This is the planned area for flooding. If it goes over the dam, this is where we want it to go over and it's working out perfectly. Am I happy about it? No. Am I concerned about it? Yes. Am I losing sleep about this? Yes, absolutely. I don't want my pond to wash down the hill. It's sad. 
Now you can see this is the new grass seed that we just planted and it's starting to come up. This rain is really, really helping it. There wasn't a blade of grass on this whole area a week ago, but it's just not soon enough here, okay? This is holding the land pretty good, but over on the backside, way out into here, it's not holding the land up so good. I think we should take a trip to the waterfall. This isn't cool, this isn't fun. It's my property and it's being destroyed by water. It's not cool, not fun. Guys, this is just one more thing that you have to worry about when you own land or you have a pond or if you're clearing land and working on stuff like this. Washing, erosion, it's all a major, major concern. So folks, these big thunderstorms keep coming through day after day, hour after hour. The sun will come out, then a storm will come through. The sun will come out, then a storm will come through. And this is what we've got, okay? Now, could I have planned for this? Could I have done anything differently? I probably could have put a bigger standpipe in and it may not have happened, but it's still going over the dam way faster than it would be able to go through a pipe. Even a 16 or 20 inch pipe wouldn't be able to handle that amount of water. So I don't think there's anything I could have done to prevent this flood situation. Let's go on down to the waterfall and see how pretty it is. At least we can enjoy some of it. We should probably give you guys a little peek at the new grass while we're on our way here. So the new section of land, this is about a 25 acre section. It's really, considering I almost fell, <laughs> considering all the rain that we've had, it's holding up really well and I'm really happy with it. You can look way out there, you can see the little rows of grass. I'll get you a, a zoom in close up here so you can see, but it's really taken off. Our creek is probably in the neighborhood of two and a half feet over flood stage right now. So I'll show you that too. That is a 36 inch pipe right there. Normally, it's just barely trickling through there. Here's a little shot of how the grass is coming along. It's starting to come out, but it really needs to be a little bit more. We planted this area probably a month and a half before we planted the new ground that's out here, okay? It's gonna be beautiful, but man, what a lot of stress. So this is a bridge that we built. And something you've gotta be concerned about with a bridge is if logs and sticks and stuff were to wash down and get into my pipe down here, it could cause the water to back up, wash over the bridge, and therefore wash the bridge away. We hand placed stones on this bridge all the way across and packed it really, really well to make sure that this doesn't happen but it could still happen in a big rainstorm. If we get much more rain, it's gonna be beyond the capacity of these two 24 inch pipes. That's 48 inches of water coming through. And we're down creek just a little bit from where we were just a minute ago. Water. So we've started a little hiking trail right through here. This is kind of where we'll have a hiking and biking trail. Doesn't look like much of a trail right now. This creek is normally just babbling through here. And this takes us down to our waterfall. Any of you guys decide to come and stay in the cabin when we get our farm stay set up, this will be your backyard. It's beautiful. It's just dangerous. This is our little waterfall, and it's an actual nice waterfall now. If you guys follow the vlog, this is our little camp out area, our little fire pit area. And this is the spot where we're going to be building a bridge sometime soon. We've already got the start of it. We've just got to get in here and weld up some pieces. But here is our huge waterfall right now. Dogs love it. Get the water! Water! So 
So folks, this is where I'm gonna say bye today. This is what's going on on the farm right now. I can't get out and get any projects done because it just keeps raining on and off, rain on and off, rain on and off. This waterfall is normally a quarter, maybe even an eighth this size. It's normally just about that much water trickling over. So huge, huge water problems here on the farm. Just wanna take you and show you what's going on. Let you know your prayers for water worked a little too good. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Please click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and we'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farm. All right? Woo! Come on. Come on. Oh, water dog! Water dog! I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along, yeah. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along, yeah. Ridge. <laughs> Lexi doesn't know what to think. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Come on! Come on! <laughs> good farm dogs. Get that water! Get that water! <laughs> These dogs love the water, man. <laughs> love the water. Get it, boy! High water is just one of the lesser talked about things about land ownership that you gotta think about. What do you do? How do you plan? You gotta have it in your head. You gotta be thinking about it all the time. It's beautiful out here, though. <laughs>